All right, we're this castle, and we're going to war. And let's see what happens if we try hard this game. I'll play as Death, I'll choose the Zombie Lord class, and I get four cards. That is one very unhappy son. The game has multiple levels. If I defeat this village, I beat the first level, or I can just resist for three days. Obviously, if my hit points go down to zero, I lose that level. You get resources for winning, which you can spend back at your base to get even stronger. Your currency to play cards is time units. The game pauses once your turn to take an action. Here's all the card info. You can also spend that time unit currency to draw a card or summon a goblin are things over here. And this is what they are. Draw action, goblin looter action, harvest souls action, sacrifice action. There are miracle cards in the game. When I kill enemy peasants, the enemies get enraged, which is a bad thing for me because it summons a party heroes. The heroes are just stronger units that make it harder for me to beat their village down. And that's the tutorial. The game pauses when it's my time to take an action. So sad son there, we're here. The enemy peasant is coming in this way and we need to send units out that way to the right. So I've got a zombie conjoined twins right here. Demise, create two corpses. So I'm going to summon this guy by clicking him twice, and then he's going to walk from the left to right for four units of time, and then it's going to pause again. I'll spend eight units of time to draw a card here. They'll walk in, they'll summon more. So it's really about the efficiency of your time, because as time passes, they keep spawning in more guys. And as you saw, my little mage up there likes to defend the tower, help my guys fight if they get too close, but it has a limited range. I'll summon this rotten zombie, and the reason why you want these things to leave corpses, is, ooh, see this right here? I can spend nine units of time to harvest that soul, so I get that soul up here for currency. And if and when my guys leave corpses behind, I can transform them into more units on the cheap. But for now, I need another card. We take out their guy. Love the moon look right there. Only costs three to summon a rotten zombie, so I'm going to do just exactly that. I'm going to speed up my death minions so they move faster across the board. And I'm going to spend nine units of time to bring in a little goblin looter, because he's going to run across there and get that gold for me. Unfortunately, he took nine units of time and that soul went off the screen so we don't get it but there'll be plenty more of those from all the murder and also let's spend this four right here to transform that enemy corpse into a zombie for me and now i need more cards let's go ahead and get a zombie conjoined twin up there and they'll start damaging the base over there and just keep uh bringing the guys in and there goes their village first level done but we're just getting started i walked away with two gold and one common soul zero heroic souls and four dark gems to spend let's go check out the necronomicon maybe i can purchase some cards from the trader no i need heroic souls don't have enough what about the alchemist trade resources Resources. Yeah, I can buy a Heroic Soul right there, and now I can buy a common pack, and I get to pick one card to keep. Deadwood Elemental is immune to stun and reduces knockback effects. It costs 7 units of time to summon. It has 32 health, so it's a great tank, and when any corpse, gold, or soul is destroyed, I lose 2 rage, which is good, because we want rage to be low, because if they get 100 rage, that summons, in, summons a bunch of heroes, which are a problem for me. Call that good for now. Time for level 2. They're stronger this time. They summon their units faster, and their heroes have more hit points. Start with the zombie conjointed twins to start out, and now we'll summon the Deadwood Elemental behind them. I don't really want them in front because they have less damage than the other guys. I want the strong hitting guys in front, right? Maybe I don't. Maybe I want the other way. Let's make it move faster because why not? I do want that soul right there. Go ahead and grab. That does cost nine units of time though. And I will send out a goblin looter to get that gold because we do need resources. I will tell you every time I draw a card. Rotten zombie, go on and get out there. All right, they finally took out that front guy. Random corpse into a zombie. I do want that. Ooh, sneaky behind the front lines there. Get me another goblin guy because I see a... Oh no, bad timing. Get back your soul. No soul for us. Rotten zombie, get out there. All right, my big tree guy about to go down. Corpse into a zombie. Yes, please. We're on day two. We got beaten by day three. Okay, they're kind of pushing us back a little bit. Need to summon some more guys and kind of group them up, I think. My little goblin looter guys are just getting bodied over there. All right, you need to get out there. Give me that soul. This might be a survive on time kind of thing. Oh, we missed that one. Another card. My wizard's gonna help defend the line a little bit for us. Deadwood Elemental, get out there and play. Give me that soul. I need it to buy things. I need to make these things cheaper. Eight or nine units is way too long. Let's make my guys go a little bit faster. Morbid Resurrection. Oh, look how far up line he is. That's actually pretty good for us. I need to hurry up and beat your base. Make my guys go faster. Why not? We can make it in time. Give me that soul. I'll take it. I'm wasting a lot of time like getting souls and stuff, but we need them. All right, day four. We didn't get it in time, so we won't get as much of a bonus over here. Puzzle's worth it for getting all those souls. That was a lot of souls. And a bunch of gold, too. So now I can go to the forges. I can choose if I want a death pack or a destruction pack or a corruption pack. Let's go for death because I'm playing the death class. I get five cards to choose from. Look at this guy. It costs eight to summon him, but he has stun four. War cry increase pack and spawn rate and gain plus 20 rage, which is not the best thing because we don't want them to have a lot of rage, but he has 16 attack is insane. Plus stunning them for four units of time is good too, so he'll take less damage too. That guy seems really good. Take that. If we go into the actions over here, it only costs two dark gems. And I have four of them to upgrade these. Let's make card draw a little bit cheaper and soul harvest cheaper. Go into the next fight. Ooh, I like the visuals. Nice. Spawning fast. They have more hit points. Now I have the miracles, which I think are bad for me usually. Good for them. All right, yeah, now this is one cheaper and this is one cheaper. I'm going to draw a card right away because it takes some time to reach me. Let's put the tanky zombie conjoint twins out first. Kind of like hold the line a little bit. Back them up with the rotten zombies. More DPS behind them. My guy up here helps a lot too. I'm not going to use Dance Macabre yet. I'm going to keep 
uh, like trying to grab some more guys to send out there. Titan on attack. I'm going to grab this, summon you, and that's going to cause their rage. This is the rage meter right here by the looks of things. Oh, that's a big boy right there. What if I made you move faster? That way you get across the board faster. Also, let's go ahead and transform a corpse into a rotten zombie. No speed buff for them, though. Get a goblin looter out there because I need to go ahead and get that gold. No, every time I click the goblin looter, right as a soul is getting summoned. I don't get the soul. I need the gold, though. Ooh, here's the miracles counting down as the times the units go by. So the way the miracles work is if I don't use them in time, they will just play automatically the unleash effect, which in this case is deal three damage to my dark tower. So it's a choice. Either I spend three units of time to summon two peasants for the enemy team, or I let it count down. I don't play the card and I just take three damage. I'm going to ignore it for now because we might beat them before that time even happens. No, there's a soul again every time. If I can get that soul though, get, wait, wait, wait. If I click this, I might take that damage. Let's not risk it. Not going to risk it. Go ahead and play that. Get that deadwood elemental out there. They're stomping down the village real nice though. And down it goes. And we get more rewards for winning. I mean, we won last time too, but you know, winning by destroying. You goblin looters definitely need to, to take less actions. I'm going to spend four gold to buy a heroic soul. I'm going to buy a common booster pack. See what we get. I guess I'll take the firestorm. Maybe it'll save my life. Seven, 14 fireballs over seven seconds. Well, that might hurt my guys too. So I'll use it when my field's mostly empty. All right, next fight. Yep, they're even stronger. But so am I. I guess I'll start off with the deadwood elemental. And I guess I'll draw a card because we need to. Honestly, I can just let that guy sit there and like take some hits for a while and keep drawing some more cards. The miracle right away, that's not good. I mean, I guess I'll just play it and summon a zealot and have to deal with that. Oh, he is very fast. I think he might be a self-destruct type. Yeah, it's going to touch a minion and explode, dealing 16 damage and each villager nearby. So there's that. What if I did Firestorm right now and just hope to get lucky and hit him? We did get him before he even reached us. That's actually fantastic value on the Firestorm. Let's transform something into a corpse. All right, we're going to take some damage here. Unfortunately, one hit. Tragic. I just got bad luck. I kept drawing cards and just not getting a, another melee unit to back my guy up. And the corpse we summoned was over here. Where were you all my whole life? I needed you earlier. That's more like it. Titan on attack. Let's summon this. Get him out there. Do some damage. Look at him go. And I need a goblin looter to go ahead and uh, give me some of that gold because that's that's pretty good. How much did you grab at a time? One. One at a time. Give me that soul. We're going to need that. Need to get some better cards. Make these guys go faster because why not? Give me that soul. We need him. Another soul, huh? Ooh, just on the edge of the screen. I'm going to take it though. I'm kind of counting on this guy to do a lot of damage for me. Rotten zombie, get out there, do some work. Although this guy might be about to get done for us over there. Let's see what he does. There we go. There goes the village. We missed out on one gem because we took one damage to our uh, base. That's fine though. We still got five. First of all, drawing cards is way too expensive. We got to spend some money there. And I'm going to buy some heroic souls. Now we have three of them. I'm going to buy an uncommon booster pack. See what we get. This is pretty good. For three time units, I can summon a goblin looter and also make goblin looters faster. I'll take it and draw a card. That's pretty good. Just for the card draw alone, it's worth it. All right, new area. All right, they're even faster and stronger. Let's start off with the Deadwood Elemental. And we'll go for the zombie can join twins to back them up a little bit. Wait before we do Titan Attack. Let's draw another card here because this guy's going to rush across the board, right? I'm not going to use the Firestorm just yet. Titan Attack, go on and get out there. These guys are getting stronger there. Now we're going to do some serious work on them. Rotten Zombie, why not get you out there? I'm not going to worry about summoning Goblin Looters myself. I'm going to hope to draw the card that'll just give me them. Yeah, yeah, there it is right there. Get that guy out there. I'll draw a card too and it's change. Ooh, Drew the Miracle. That's not good. The Miracles are bad for me in this game because we're the bad guys and these are the good guys, right? All right, I'm going to wait till this counts down really, really low because as soon as I use it, they're going to spawn their peasants fast, which is bad for me. Yo, that goblin looter is zooming. They're not kidding. Let's go ahead and get that soul back over here. Look at him go. There right, we got 15 left on this. I'll turn a corpse into a zombie. Why not? There we go. We got two of them back here now. Go ahead and use this thing uh, real quick here. Close enough. So now they're going to be spawning faster over there. Spawn rate seven is probably faster, I think. Make my guys move faster. Probably pretty good. Get across the board before more guys spawn. Oh, my titan went down. Give me that soul, though. The tree's still up. We're getting their base, doing some damage. Get another looter, because why not? Also draws a card for me. Cheaper than clicking this button. Make my guys go faster. Sure, why not? Village goes down. Ooh, as soon as you take that one damage on your base, you just stop getting those bonus hit point gems for the rest of the run. Good to know. It's fine, though. We're plenty strong. I want one of these, a rare one. First, we got to make card draw faster, though. It's just it's just so expensive to draw a card. I'll go ahead and buy two heroic souls. We only have three, though, and we need five to get this. So we will wait and get it hopefully next time. Ooh, nice little terrain there. Oh, they're getting faster. Oh, two miracles. Gross. Miracles are bad for me in this game. I'll just draw a card right away. All right, Rotten Zombies going out first. Kind of hold the line a little bit. Let's draw another card. I think we can afford to. Ooh, not if it's a miracle. Gross. All it does is give them 10 rage. I'll, I'll just go ahead and put it out there. That's fine. I don't mind them getting 10 rage. 
get that card out of there. All right, Titan on attack. Time for you to get out there and help us out a little bit. Oh, there's a soul. Could have grabbed that. I mean, missing out on the one blue soul. Blue soul, not a big deal. But I do want the other one, though. Thank you. Oh, I got two. A third one. You're just drowning me in souls. Missed it, though. Another soul. Fine. I'll take them. I need this to be cheaper, too, because they are. It is a big chunk of time to grab a soul. Let's draw a card over here. Yes, Deadwood Elemental. I do want you in my life. Thank you very much. And I need this uh, Goblin Looter out there to go ahead and get that gold for me, because we need that quite a lot. Let's make these uh, guys move faster. That way, this guy will kind of like catch up the front line a little bit quicker. This guy's about to fall down and get destroyed. Drew a miracle. That's not great. Summon a beauty pageant. Let's not do that just yet. I think that just summons like a, a princess or something. Transform a corpse into a zombie. Yes, I need more soldiers on the field to protect my low guy as he runs forward. Create two corpses. Think my, yeah, my gob. Oh, look at that little speedy guy. Saved his own life. All right, time to summon the beauty pageant. And out comes, what is this? Yeah, the beauty pageant. I see. Look down the bottom left over here and it says demise plus 10 rage, which is actually getting close to 100. We do not want to spawn those heroes. Do I need to use my firestorm here? I might actually. It's getting kind of dicey here. I don't want another goblin looter, but it's a actually cheaper way to draw a card than clicking this. So out you go, little buddy. Draw me a cheaper card. Titan on attack. Get out there, my giant monstrous dude. There goes that soul away forever. Not going to get it. Just took too long for my guy to get summoned. All right, get out there and bust him up a little bit. Another miracle. Gain 10 rage. All right, ooh, that's gross. Um, I'm going to wait on that one. Delay summoning their heroes as long as I can. Another miracle. You guys are brutal. I guess we're about to see those heroes. I guess that's the firestorm would be good for that. If I just play these back to back, here comes the heroes. Play the other one. The rage circle thing goes around again. Soul went off the screen there. Missed that. All right, they're on the screen here. What you, what, what's this glowing bubble on you? I guess it's some kind of protective barrier. Firestorm, hit them a lot, please, and don't hit me too much would be great. Seems like they did pretty good value. Let's transform a corpse into a zombie. Maybe they'll help a bit. That's a nasty looking crew of dudes you got coming here. They're healing each other too. The healer's a problem. Dead elemental, protect me. Oh, I missed a heroic soul there. I could have grabbed that. But to be fair, grabbing it probably got my base hurt, which would be not good. Need to survive this night and win on time, I think would be good for this one. Get out there, rotten zombie. The heroes have no chill. Those are some uh, nasty miracles they gave us there, frankly. Oh, that's not the card I needed. I don't need that. I have no minions on the screen right now. Taking some damage here. It's a bit rough. Get out there, zombie conjointed twins. I need you to protect my base a little bit. It is a nasty one. Give me something better here. And we lose. Is there meta progress? Not in the demo. But now we can try the corruption deck instead. Plays a Grave Robbers. Looks like a spell heavy deck. All right, back at the start. This guy has eight damage and whenever they touch a corpse they destroy it and there's a chance to create a gold nugget so we're no longer the death deck we're no longer converting corpses into zombies we're destroying them for money also i can just attract all gold nuggets with a click of a button with this card that seems pretty good this one right here winds of decay deal five damage apply knock back five and root one to each villager i'll try just to see what it does knocks them back deals five damage and rooting them for a little bit sure all right cool yeah every time i click something that costs eight a soul goes off the screen it's pain knock back six and root one to each villager and draw a card why not get them back draw a card Seems great. Five damage apply knockback, five root one each villager. Sure, great. Just hurt everybody. I'm all about it. Lust for gold. Track gold nuggets. We wait till like real close to the end before doing that, I think. So there's lots of gold on the screen. This grave digger is just working them. Put another one of those guys out there. They do fantastic value. Uh, give me that soul. I need that. Thank you. Another grave digger. I think he's the only unit I have in my deck right now, but I'm kind of okay with it because he one shots these guys and it's real good. I think I need to go ahead and get that gold now before it takes out the base. So summon all that gold with lust for gold. Oh, it doesn't actually bring it all the way back to my base. It just moves a little bit closer. So we're not going to get any of that because he beat it too fast. We're too strong. I do have four dark gems though. Let's make the souls faster and draw a card faster. Can't afford to buy things. So back in we go. All right, they're stronger. All right, get out there, Grave Digger. Draw a card. Honestly, I can, I can just sit here kind of spamming out Grave Diggers and drawing cards until uh, the guys have to get close. Then I can use the spells as like a backup. I should probably get this Lust for Gold guy out there like soon rather than later. Be good to do because these guys are about to just body him real quick. These guys are going to dominate the early levels. I want that soul stop. No, stay on my screen. Give me this. I see that soul hiding right there and I'm going to grab that as my guy destroys enemy base. There we go. Beautiful. Ooh, Swiftness plus one dark gem. Okay, cool. Well, bonus for doing it fast. I think using the gems here is meta. Let's make my... Actually, I have a card for summoning a goblin looter, so let's not worry about that. Let's make the soul grab a bit faster. And let's open a corruption booster pack. The Deadwood Elemental, I mean, not really blowing my mind. It's This guy seems way better than the Deadwood Elemental because he does four times the damage. I mean, yeah, we're just, just going to take him. He's great. He's cheap. He's strong. Can't complain about that guy. All right, they're a little bit stronger. Get out there, Grave Digger. Ooh, the miracle. We got this time. Summon two peasants. You know what? That's fine. 
mind. Just go ahead and play it right now. I want to keep this thing at 20 hit points all the time. I see that right there. I'm going to grab that soul. Don't you run away from me. Although four of you guys attacking my Gravedigger once could be bad for me. What if I were to deal five damage and knock back you guys and root you a little bit? That way my guy's not taking on four of you at the same time. And do this again just to, you know, keep things a little bit uh, more fair for my guy. My guy's doing great and he's turning their corpses into gold, which is fantastic. Keep the front line protected before I put my lust for gold guy out, which I think we're fine now. Get out there and give me that gold, buddy. I'm gonna need it. Keep some of the grave diggers because we've got lots of them and they're really strong. I want that soul up there. Give it to me. Man, these guys are just like, this is the money making build right here. Grave diggers turning corpses into gold. This guy going to get it. Give me that soul. Another one appears at the same time. I need to upgrade this. Oh, it's off the screen. Get out there, other dude. I see that soul and I want it. Thank you very much. And your village goes down. Beautiful. No swiftness bonus, but still got four dark gems. I need drawing a card to be cheaper. And I'll buy another uh, corruption booster pack. You know, there's other things I could do, but you know I'm gonna get another grave digger. He seems real good. I'm not above min-maxing. In fact, I enjoy it. All right, what we got this time? All right, tougher. Okay. Two grave diggers in my hand right at the start. You'll love to see that. Just go ahead and put them both out right away. Fantastic. Maybe we get the swiftness award for this one. Another grave digger at the start. Let me first get that soul because yoink. You know I need that another soul. You better believe I'm gonna grab that one too. You're not gonna stop me. Another grave digger because why not? Oh, we're definitely gonna get the swiftness award on this one. Get that lust for gold going so I get a couple gold this match. What's better, getting it like more gold by making the fight go longer or getting the swiftness award for another gem? I see that soul. Give it to me. Hmm, some of beauty pageant. I'm gonna wait on that. I think we can maybe get away with not doing it and win before that happens, perhaps. Give me that soul. Thank you very much. Another soul, but unfortunately I have to do the beauty pageant first. Go ahead and do this. Looks like they're making their way out there. What if I just, I see you sneaking past. I'm not gonna let you do that. Get back there. Get away. We break the thing. Some of the gold sooner? Closer? Uh-oh. They're getting past. What if I knocked you back and did some damage to you? How about that? I see that soul there. I'll never get to have it. No swiftness of war, but we did get our four gems. Let's make drawing a card cheaper and give me another corruption booster pack. Oh, look at that. Another grave digger. Don't mind if I do. There's no way this is gonna be completely broken, overpowered. All right, they're even stronger. How much hit points do you guys have? Nine. Oh, now it takes more than one hit for my guy to take him out. Well, it doesn't matter if I'm spamming out a whole lot of them. Plus, I can cast spells to soften them up for my guys if need be. In fact, I'm gonna do just that. Now you're a one shot again. The front line guys anyways. Another one? Sure, why not? Summon two peasants. That's not a bad miracle. I don't mind that one at all. There are other ones that are way worse than that. Get out there, lust for gold goblin guy. I need that money. For my guys, go ahead and break that base. I see those souls and I take them. Another grave digger? Sure. It's always good to have a backup. Oh, especially considering my guys just went down. All right. Because I did spawn two at once. Let's go ahead and knock those guys back a little bit. Give my guys some breathing room. Do some damage to them as well. Soften them up. Keep my little gold guy alive. Give me that soul. Thank you very much. The thing about gathering souls and money and whatnot, it does come at the opportunity cost of like, you're giving them more time to spam more guys at you, which is, you know, dangerous. You killed my goblin guy, you monsters. What do you do to you? A lot of nothing, that's what. Keeps getting my guys out there. They're doing kind of well. The fact that I can no longer one-shot them does cause some issues. Summoning two peasants is a thing I have to do here. This might be a survive. I've, I've greeted so much for souls so many times here that it's, it's coming at a bit of a price to us here. And I no longer one-shot either. That soul is just gonna have to go by the wayside. I need to get my other guy out there. I guess I can grab it now, but it is... I'm spending so much investment on this right here and it's not great. Uh oh, attack my little guy. Perhaps we've made a poor life choice here. We greedy for souls so much that we're taking some damage. A lot of it, actually. That's fine. This guy will go ahead and stop some of it. They keep attacking the base even after some of my guy. This is... Uh, I thought my base would defend itself just a little bit better than this. Note to self, don't greed too much. I greed too much. No. It's my own fault for greeting for souls. What if I played destruction this time? Blood eyed. Lots of units. I like that. I like the grave digger, but I didn't like all the spells. There's too many spells. Oh, interesting. That's what the sacrifice thing does. Draw the attention of powerful demons, it says over there. So if I sacrifice my minions and get that up to 100, I can like bring him a powerful demon to go attack them. And this guy right here, they attack for four damage, have 12 hit points. And during the day, when I click any of these buttons, I gain eight sacrifice points towards getting that demon to join my side. Go ahead and get this blood eye plunderer out there. So what I want to do is I want to make actions really cheap. If I use this, I'll sacrifice him. So probably not. But I pick one action, like draw a card and make it super, super cheap. And then he will uh, get lots of power for a demon. That's the plan. Does playing a card count? Also, what do you do? Blood Blood Eye Plane Strider. Only one damage, which you have four range. Day, whenever I use an action, Blood Eye Plane Strider gains plus one attack damage. So yeah, you want to pick one thing and make it really, really cheap. That's what you want to do. Get out there and go help my guy. Oh, you're fast. Attack from a range. Draw a card and we get eight of our little uh, sacrifice demon points up here. Eight, nine, 
it's basically the same. I'll gather that soul because why not? We're going to need it, I'm sure. It's nighttime, so we don't care about the action buttons right now. I like the strategy of using them during the day. Blood Eye Blacksmith. Day, when you use any action button, all warrior minions gain plus two attack damage. So you want to focus on warrior minions is what we want. This range guy is doing work over there. Well, I still need to draw cards, though, so we'll just do that at night here. I want that soul. Give it to me. I feel like farming resources is better than getting one extra dark gem for doing it quickly. Give me this soul. Thank you very much. How much damage does this guy do? Three damage is what he does. Okay, that's not bad. Day, using the action button, gain eight sacrifice. I think we're going to win before we get to 24 uh, sacrifice, but let's get a goblin plunder out there to actually get some of that gold. Forgot about that. Be useful to actually have the monies. Give me that soul. Thank you very much. I mean, we might. If it goes long enough. I need more. Of the, I think I need like two or three of these guys to get up to 100. Give me that soul, though. You know what? I'm less worried about the dark gems and more worried about getting lots of gold and lots of souls. So I think that's the strategy. If it takes the full three days, it's fine. Winning by timeout might be better. Give me a card here. And we take out their base. All right. Four dark gems we take. Improve action buttons. We want to go all in on drawing cards as we have the gems to do so. I'll spend four regular souls to get a heroic soul over here and go ahead and uh, see if I can get something good from the, the trader here. Give me a common heroic card. Ooh, Revel Demon it is a demon warrior. So that's the warrior class that we need. It's got one knockback, three damage, 15 health. I think four attack speed and six movement speed. So it moves really quick. Invader. So whenever this thing is like this, when I summon it, when I summon it, it draws one card and deals two damage to the village. So it's got built in card draw. I'm into it. All right, round two, day one. Should be fine. Let's go ahead and put this guy out first because they don't have any like day summon action the way this guy does, the Blood Eye Plunderer. To, I want to keep you out safe and alive as long as I can. Draw a card here and start gaining up those like demon summoning points, sacrifice points. Get the Blood Eyed Plane Strider out there and we, we beat them already. How? 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 My guy didn't even reach. I'm so confused. I get that when I summon this guy, he does two damage to the village. Does this guy do damage when I summon him? I have no idea how he just destroyed the village before my guy even reached it. Uh, I'm really confused. Is there a glitch with the demon summon guy? He did two damage. I summon the next guy and it did two damage to the village upon summon. Like it actually applied the invader class that doing two damage to the village upon being summoned to all of them. Maybe let's make the upgrade draw action cheaper. And again, and we didn't have time to get any gold or souls because we won way too quick. So back in we go. I mean, if we, if I glitched and bugged the game, you better believe I'm abusing into oblivion because that's content, baby. All right, let's try this again. Revel Demon. So what he does, the invader thing is I draw a card and I deal two damage to the village when I summon him. So the question is, is it bugged where like every time I summon him, like what's your hit points at? I can't tell. You got three hit points right there. I can tell right there. I'm going to bring in the Blood Eye Plunderer. No, no, it didn't do any damage to him. So it's not bugged. At least not this round. Give me this. And what's that do? Yeah, give me the eight demon points over there. Heal the village increases health by one. I guess I'll have to do that. And yeah, it's up to four there, I guess. All right, it's down to two. Interesting. Maybe he has an AoE attack because I just watched him hit this guy right here. And this thing's hit points went down before he even hit them. He does have knockback one. Maybe when he knocks them back, it hits the enemy village and does damage. Maybe. I don't know. Give me that soul though before he takes it down and destroys it. And there it goes. I'll tell you what, he's good for like beating the village fast. Maybe we found the overpowered units. Make card draw cheaper because we need that. Oh, it's maxed. Good to know. Can't afford anything because we're just winning too fast. All right, round four. I'm going to summon the Blood Eye Blacksmith first. They've got four hit points over there. Now I'm going to summon you. That way you take less damage before I can start using my actions here. I mean, I want that soul. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to use a card here. Forget the souls. It's all about the dark gems, whatever. All right, I can still get it, I guess. Give me this. And now you're going to have your damage buffed. So you're hitting for seven now. It's great. I mean, I want that soul too. Give it to me. Thank you very much. Two of them. That's a bargain bin situation over there. And he just bodies it. He just bodies it. Give me those gems. Let's make the soul gathering thing a little bit cheaper. Let's trade some resources over here. Give us another one of these uh, heroic souls. Who needs gold? Am I right? Give me something good. Another rebel demon. You better believe I'm going to take that guy. He seems a little bit overpowered. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. I thought the grave digger was good. This guy's crazy. All right, round five. Same as last time. Get the blacksmith out there first. Maybe back him up with the human uh, blood eye plunderer over there. And now get my rebel demon out there. Hopefully these guys don't die or anything. Yep. Let's go ahead and get that soul before it disappears. Thank you very much. That gives me some of those uh, sacrifice points and makes my guys stronger. I'll take that soul too. Thank you. Although I want to draw some cards in the cheap. I mean, it's, it's nighttime, so they don't get the bonus anymore, but let's go ahead and do it. Wait, why did you get a, like a speed boost? Did I draw two cards? Am I crazy? Let's get the blood eye plane strider out there. Why not? I see that soul there and I want it. Give it to me. Another soul, but we won too fast. Another swiftness bonus. Let's get the soul harvest thing a little bit better. Cheaper. Trade these souls in and go ahead and see if we can get another awesome thing over here. I mean, in fact, it did not. No rebel demon. I don't want any of these. Can I like skip? What's this button? I can see my deck. Looks like I have to take one. I guess I'll take this one. Funeral pile. 
higher. I'd rather have gotten a cheap card. It costs like two or something. All right, round six. Seems like a tough one. Two miracles to deal with. Get the plunderer out there. Followed up with a demon. Give me that soul, though. Only cost six to grab now. That's an improvement. I shouldn't spend too much time grabbing souls. I need to draw cards. Get those sacrifice points cooking over there. That blood-eyed plane starter out there. Maybe we should have done action first while still daytime. Would have been good to get more like sacrifice stuff going. Get another one of them out there. I think he's about to win it again so quick. Is he, how's he doing? He is just destroying it. Again, bodied. I think I could just summon one or two of those guys and just win every time so far. Make the soul grabbing cheaper. Maxed out. Back in we go. All right, what we got this time? Spawning faster. Heroes are real strong, okay? So we do not want to summon the heroes. All right, get out there, blacksmith. You attack for three, but if I use this, you buff all warrior minions. So what, you attack for only three now? I guess you're not a warrior. All right, get that demon out there first then, I guess. Ooh, I want that though. Give me this. This also counts as an action for buffing them as well. So now you do five a hit. Do this. You should now be doing seven a hit. That's a lot better. It's nighttime now. Give you one quick buff. No, it didn't get in time. Let's draw another card here. I'm not sure why I drew two that time because there's a miracle. Heal the village increases health by one. That's fine. I don't mind that one at all. Get that out of there. Give me that soul. I'll take it. Let's go ahead and summon the blood eye plunder. It'll be day soon and send out my warrior as well. I'm going to take that soul. I'm going to take that soul too. Might as well. Get some more cards. Let's go ahead and put this apply burn to each peasant. Maybe we'll soften this guy up a little bit. Let's get my guy in there a bit faster sooner. Plane strider. I need your range attack out there. Come on, get that base down. I want some of the beauty pageant. Let's put the fire on that guy over there. Maybe it'll help my guy get some more damage in the base. Be nice to actually get that win, right? Guys are trying to challenge me a little bit because I grabbed too many souls. I think that's what it was. You can't grab too many souls. Oh, I want that soul though. Ah, oh, it's off the screen. You get it in time. We're attacking from range. My demon's getting in. I got to use this. Some of the beauty pageant. That's going to trigger their rage up a little bit, but we got them. I don't understand how I keep destroying their village when my guy's attacking from back here. The knockback must like hit them into it and damage it or something. I'm really confused. I'm not even summoning goblin plunderers. We're doing fine without the gold, really. I could sacrifice minions. Gain five sacrifice per level per minion killed. So if I get this thing to like level five, it'll give me 25 sacrifice per minion killed so I could sacrifice like four minions at once to get a demon. Maybe we work towards that. It's also trading for some souls. Let's go for an uncommon this time. Another blood eye plane strider. Whenever I take an action, it gets plus one attack damage. I'll take it. A little ranged guy. All right, round eight. Peasants have two more hit points. That is scary to deal with and they spawn even faster. 10 hit points is a lot. It'll take you 10 hits to take him out. That's crazy. I'm going to draw a card first, I think. Draw a card first. Let's get a little bit closer. Then bring out my Revel Demon. And then we're going to back you up with the Blood Eye Plane Strider and get you help him out a little bit. Use this. will make you do plus one damage and use it again during the day. And you're doing yeah, three damage hits a lot better. That's actually going to help out a lot. Give you some backup over here to help you out. I think it's going to be good. I don't want you to take too much damage. Go ahead and put some burn on these guys. Soften them up before reach my guys. I need these guys to stay kind of healthy and strong because they're kind of my only like fighting power right now. Summon a zealot. I don't want to do that yet if I don't have to. I summon a, a goblin money getting guy because getting some money eventually would be nice. But man, does that take a lot of turns? All right. I guess we have to summon the zealot and the first guy in the front is just going to get blown up maybe. I think that's the reality we're going to deal with. Yep, there goes a strong one. That's unlucky. If I could get something strong. Stop drawing the miracles. I need a unit, a strong unit. You can play this card only if there are three or more minions. Goblin looters are not minions. No effect. So I need to get some more minions on the board here. Would be nice. It's going to be tricky. Get this blood eye blacksmith out there. If if I don't get that out, I'm going to take some damage. So I need minions. I need them like now. Stop murdering my minions would be great. That's just that card is not going to get played, unfortunately. Get you out there and protect me up a little bit. Be nice. I just can't play this thing, unfortunately. That's that's that. What an awful card to get that you don't even know it exists. And now I'm just going to take three damage. We know for the rest of the run, we can no longer get that plus one dark gem anymore. But to be fair, we're kind of good on the dark gem front, I'd say. Those guys can burn. Now we know that that card exists. We should now should always be ready to have three guys ready to spam all at once, but I didn't know that card existed. You guys are actually proving to be a challenge here around eight. I guess you are getting kind of strong. Give me that soul. Summon a zealot. How about no? How about no? This thing again? All right, so let's go ahead and use this right here. And I want that soul, but we're gonna have to go ahead and summon that zealot, I suppose. There goes my guys. I need to try and draw some more units. Knowing that this miracle exists really discourages me from ever wanting to go for a spell build. That's which is kind of a problem in of itself, frankly. All right, we need to get some more guys out here. I'm not sure if I can summon them all in time. Yeah, this this card's a, this card's a problem, honestly. Get these guys out here. I'm not sure we can summon all three quickly enough and also keep them alive in time. I mean, maybe my guy doesn't die here. No, he died and the soul gets away, but we got that. All right, we avoided it that time, luckily. Now they know it existed. Let's burn those guys. I feel like that burn card just kind of sucks. I should stop using it. Plus, if I use it, it just goes back into my deck. That's why we're struggling to get my units. So I keep using that burn card, which it goes back in my deck. Then I have to draw it again. Stop doing that. Enraged. Uh oh, that's not good. Wait, if they're enraged, I gain six per minion and killed. Six, 12, 18 is not enough to summon a demon, unfortunately. What's going on here? Why am I? Oh, because it's my turn to like draw a thing. So here come their heroes, just a problem for me. Summon this guy. 
guy. I need more sacrifice to get my demon cooking out here. I can apply burn and all of you might help out a little bit. These heroes could be the end of us. No, resisted three days. Fantastic. It's getting tough. I need another one of those demons what I need. Trade for a soul and then we'll spend it on the common where we'll more likely get it, right? Yes, revel demon. Or I can just get a random corpse turned to goblin looter. Nope, need this guy. All right, what we got this time? I like how the visuals change every time. They spawn fast and heroes have lots of hit points. Three miracles is gross. The existence of the miracles kind of punishes you for having deck spam build. What you really want is a lot of expensive cards that take a lot of time to play because if you go for a lot of like two cost, three cost cards and spam through a deck, you just have to play those miracles more often. So the game punishes you for having low cost cards. It seems like the game is trying to shoehorn you into one min-max play style of like get a bunch of cards that cost like seven to play and just play those and don't draw. Go ahead and get this Blood Eye Plane Strider out here and draw a card so you get plus one damage. Lovely. There's this thing again. And make you even stronger again. Fantastic. All right. Just draw all the cards. Let's go ahead and get you stronger again. Oh, you're going to like, yeah, those are waste. Got the cards though. That soul is just going to go away. What do you have here? Beauty Pageant, Gain 10 Rage. Let's go ahead and get this guy out here and protect my base up a little bit. Be good. Man, these are, they're bodying me all of a sudden. Let's put this fire out here. Did you summon it here already? You got like a Valkyrie defending your base. I need to, I need to not use these. Draw a card real quick. You guys are terrifying. Summon beauty pageant because I have to. And then gain 10 rage for them because I have to. You guys are coming out. I'm going to draw another card real quick. I'd rather you fight within the range of my tower defense guy over here. Let's get this blacksmith out there and have them do their thing. Get the rebel demon out there as well. And then when day comes, I, just, I need this guy to be in my hand more is what I need. Draw a card. This card, all cards in hand. Honestly, that's fine. Just go ahead and play that. Get that out of there. Draw a card. My guys are dying. We're just not getting that daytime bonus. Get this guy out there and just have something to like hold the line a little bit. Make you stronger. Oh, just this it's round nine is tough. We I think we needed higher tier units at this point. Blood Eye Plunderer, get out there. Do some damage for me. And just yeah, my guys, my units just aren't strong enough. Uh I can't get the synergy going because I can't keep them alive long enough to do anything. They just die too quick. What are you guys damage? They have six damage. The peasants do six damage. What am I supposed to do against such reckless hate? Nothing. They take my guys out in two hits. Yeah, I needed to pivot to stronger units somehow is what I needed. Have some burn or something. Yep, I think we're gonna lose it right here. Here. Yeah, all right. Don't you trash talk me. All right, one more run. But now we know you want a deck that has high cost cards because you don't want to cycle through your deck quickly because then you get more of those nasty miracle cards. This guy's got a bunch of three and four cost cards to start. Fours and fives. Three, fours and fives. So destruction was the most expensive of the starting cards. So we'll go for them again. Plus they seem pretty good. But we won't focus on that day synergy so much because it worked good at the start, but not so much later on. Also, the Revel Demon, like I won some of those early runs too quickly. Didn't farm any resources. Wish I could get rid of cards. Cards, like sell them. All right, Blood Eye Blacksmith, get out there. And the Blood Eye Plunderer. And let's get a Goblin Looter out there. That way, maybe we can get some gold and, you know, make some little money. And anytime I take an action, my guys get stronger. Give me that soul. And yeah, get my boy stronger. I want that soul too if I can get it in time. Nope, it's off the screen. All right, give me a card then, I guess. Goblin Looter doing his best. Right, get out there, Blood Eye Plane Strider. I might need you. Although we're going to actually think we're going to body them pretty quick. I only had one hit point. Let's get dusted. Five gems. I'm going to buy Heroic Soul here. See what we get. This guy costs seven. This guy costs eight over here. The Titan attack was way better than the Deadwood Elemental. I remember that. Although its war cry increases peasant spawn rate and gains 20 20 rate. So it's really good, but also buffs the enemy is a problem. But overall, it did seem fairly worth it. Although what's making me lose is usually the heroes. And this guy, when any corpse, gold, or soul is destroyed, lose to rage. So having this guy take my rage down is not terrible. We'll go for you and try to keep you alive. And let's make card draw cheaper. Try it again. And what we want is expansion. Expensive cards. Just get the ones that cost seven or eight or more and just have just spam tanky units because then you draw less miracles. That seems to be the meta of how to play the game because the miracles can be pretty nasty. All right, get that plain strider out there. Draw a card to make you have plus one attack is good. I think putting you out first is a mistake. Let's get the Deadwood Elemental out there. I think even you took out one, but yeah, you don't want to put them out first. That's just not good. No, we're learning. Get you out there. Ooh, having this uh blacksmith guy, let's go ahead and get a goblin guy out there. Making my Deadwood Elemental stronger is actually be pretty substantial because now, wait, no, it's only warrior class. That's right. I mean, he does buff himself though, right? No. Are you not a warrior? Guess not. Don't you kill my goblin guy. Rude. Blood Eye Plunderer, get out there. Not sure I'm going to go for that sacrifice build again. It's kind of hard to accomplish, I think. Blacksmith, get out there and fight a little bit. I see that soul going away. What am I getting it? I'll take it. Why not? Thank you very much. This guy's slowly walking. Like, we want this guy to stay alive. Keep their rage down. Another one. Love that. Get you on the board right away. Take that damage. Give me that soul. This is what you want. You want time on these early ones to farm souls and gold. They killed my goblin guy. So I should put another one out there. I think would be good. You 
guys could stop murdering my little tree guy. That'd be lovely. How about some burn and all your peasants? Because there's just too many of them out there right now. And they're kind of bodying my guys. Get out there, blood eye plunder, and help out a little bit. I think I'm greeting for uh, grabbing souls and uh, getting gold a little bit much here. I'm going to pass on that soul because if I don't keep putting units out here, we're going to probably not win in time. And I kind of want to win in time. Get these guys out here and help me fight a little bit. Thank you. All right. We got enough guys on the screen. Maybe one more goblin guy can squeeze in a few more bits of gold. We got three, got four guys out there. We'll be fine. Give me that soul. That should be enough to get it out in time. Not sure we get the gold back in time though. No, we don't. Still, four gold, four souls, not bad. And four dark gems. Card drive needs to be cheaper. Grabbing souls needs to be cheaper. Give me those heroic souls. Go for a common. Go for two commons. I want to fill my deck with lots of expensive cards. The Revel Demon was good at the start, but he kind of started to suck after a while. Also, he makes me draw a card, which is kind of a bad thing because that might speed up the rate you draw the miracle card. You don't want that. Give me this guy to keep my uh, rage down. Give me another one. I mean, the Firestorm actually could come in pretty handy when I'm overwhelmed, I think. And it's expensive, and that seems to be the meta is expensive cards to reduce the number of miracles that you're going to draw. You want to get lots of value from every single card, not spam lots of low value cards, because then you get hit with too many miracles. Round three, give me the Deadwood Elemental right away. Keep the rage low. Send out the Blood Eye Plunderer, because why not? Get some damage on those guys up front. And the Plain Strider behind them. Lovely. Got to do some damage, and let's spam the draw card so I can uh, give my guys their buffs or whatever. Blacksmith, get out there. It's night time. Let's, hmm, let's get a card just in case. I was going to get a plunderer, but ooh, hello, give me that soul. Do I want that one single? No, get this guy out here. I'm not going to worry about one single solitary soul when it costs eight to bring it in. It's kind of a lot. I'd rather ignore that for now. All right, you know what? Now I'll get it. Now I'll get it. I've got four guys on the board and they're running around just fine. Get my goblin plunder out there. Maybe they get that one golden time, although it seems a bit unlikely. Draw a card. Hopefully not the miracle. There's the miracle. Summon a zealot. We don't want that at all. I think we're about to beat their base though. So there we go. Got him, that ranged guy. Give me those gems. Draw a card needs to be cheaper. That's all I can afford to do we got very little resources. We won too quick. All right, they're stronger. Round four. All right, I'm going to get the Deadwood Elemental out there first. I want them to have some time to like get in front of these guys. You move slow, so I'm going to summon you first. I want you to stay behind that Elemental for a while. Get the Plunder out here, then start doing some daytime actions if I can to get some buffs going. There we go. Got some sacrifice up and prove the strength of one of the guys by two. It's still daytime. I could summon you, but then I won't get the effect. I'm going to draw another card, get two more damage on one of my guys there, so he's going to be hitting for five. And to get my Plane Strider out here, this Miracle's not bad though. Keep my hand empty and I can just use this. There's no downside to that apart from three units of time being cast. I want that soul. Give it to me. What's your damage out here? Dude's doing eight damage a hit. That's great. Give me that soul. I'm gonna take that. I need those for buying things. I want all that gold, but we're not gonna get in time unless my goblin guy really moves a lot faster. Nope. Man, the problem with the this this uh, class is it wins so hard and so fast. Even not the demon warrior, uh, we just don't get much time to farm golden souls. I guess put out less units. Make draw a card cheaper. About all I got. Go into the next one. Round five. Deadwood Elemental so go ahead and get out there and be my front line. Well, tanky boy, draw a card. Not what I want. Fine, just have the 10 rage. Draw another card. The daytime has passed. Give me that soul, though. I'll take it. Actually, I should summon a guy soon. My dead elemental's about to go down. I'll summon another one. Get him out there. And give him something to back him up a little bit. I wanted to wait on some of that guy if I could. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Give me that soul. I'm gonna need it. Thank you. Two for one. Another soul. I want that. I want that soul, but I can't. You know what? That's it. That's it for the soul grab. I've spent too many turns grabbing souls, and we're going to fall behind. Put some burn on these guys out here and soft them up for my guy. We got to start playing to win here. Get out there, blacksmith. You know, souls is nice, but maybe you got to like, limit yourself. Okay, I can spend 20 action points on getting souls and stuff, but that's it. Blood Eye Plane Strider, get out there and help us out for some damage. I want that soul, but I'm just going to draw a card instead because that gives plus damage to you guys. Yeah, you're up to four damage. Oh, the blacksmith buffs you by two, and then you buff yourself by one every time I do an action. These are the actions over here. Playing a card I don't think counts as an action, so you are up to how much damage now? I can't see for some reason. I want that soul, but I'm going to play the Deadwood Elemental instead. You are up to seven damage is amazing. That's great. You know, I'm feeling good. Give me that soul. I'm feeling strong. I feel like you can handle these guys before they even reach you. So you're going to body this for us, I think. Give me that dead elemental. Back up just in case. Give me a goblin looter. Maybe I can get a little bit of gold here. This guy's this guy's doing great work for us. Wait until you have the blacksmith and the plane strider at the same time. Great value. Give me another gold grabbing guy. Who knows? Maybe we can get this to happen. It sucks seeing the souls just fly off the sky before we can get him in time because he spent nine turns to grab one goblin guy running out there. I don't think the goblin guys get back in time. If I had to guess, you're going to beat it before then. Still not bad though. Walk away with 10 souls is really good. I need uh, soul grabbing to be cheaper. Let's go ahead and make that one more cheaper. One 
lust of get, whatever. And give me those heroic souls. Give me an uncommon. No, they're all cheap. That's not that's not what we want at all. That's not bad. If I have two warrior minions on the screen, I just get free damage on their village. Or well, for each warrior. So if I have two warrior minions on the screen, that's just four damage straight to their village. That's pretty good. Giving eight each minion eight more health is pretty, pretty good though. Then again, eventually these guys hit for like six damage each. I mean, that's two more hits. That's substantial. But direct damage to their village could actually just win us this. Yeah, they only have six health. Round six. Get out there, Deadwood Elemental. Back him up with the Blood Eye Plunderer. A little DPS to help him out over there. Bring another Deadwood Elemental to keep their rage low if possible. Send out a goblin guy to grab some gold and watch that soul run away because I clicked it before I saw the soul. Give me a card. Heal the village, increase health by one. That's fine. Yep, it's up to seven now. Gain 10 rage for them. Uh, fine, I guess. The question is, once you use the miracles, do they disappear forever or do they keep popping back up? That is the question. Because if it's use the miracle one time and then just gone for the rest of the fight here, maybe it's not so bad to have a few miracles. I want that soul. Give it to me. Two souls for one. Love that. They're stacking up kind of nasty on my guys there. It's a bit of a problem for me. I'm going to apply burn to all of them. Burn them up a little bit. Okay, I underestimated how tough you guys are. The burn did great things for us, though. Uh, that's not the card I want right now, though. Honestly, it won't be a terrible... Maybe we can take them out this firestorm with a bit of luck. Come on. It doesn't even hit on my side. That's good to know. Get this blacksmith out there. So so the firestorm hits from like the middle to the over that way. So if they're over here already, the firestorm's just not going to hit them. We're learning. Is, are you a warrior? You're a blacksmith. You're no good to me. Protect my own base. Um, get another blacksmith out there, I guess. Need to draw the right cards. Need some stronger. There we go. Yeah, dead with elemental. Save me. I'm trying to survive here. I got to stop greeting for getting resource and just spam my units. Got too many of these like so-so cards. I need more of these big, strong, tanky boys. Another reason why you want high cost cards because it costs money to draw cards or time to draw cards rather. I need more. I need more boys out here. Gotta stop greeting. You know, I can, I can greet for one goblin guy because there's a lot of gold right there. Forget the souls for a little bit. How many warriors do I have on the screen? One. I mean, doing two damage to the base is not terrible, but frankly, I see more units on the screen. No, not another one of these. So they do just get reused. So you really, yeah, you, you just really do not want to um have a lot of card draw going on. You just don't. Lots of card draw is a bad thing. All right. If I could get some units, that'd be nice. Just keep not drawing units here. Get them out there. Do I not draw them? They're still on the screen? I don't know. Oh, I ran out of time and took three damage from that thing. Crap. I forgot about the miracle. I mean, it did three. It did three damage to me, but I'm all. I was already down one hit point, I guess. So we were already not getting that bonus. I have a couple of warriors. So let's go ahead and do some direct damage to the base. Four direct damage. There we go. Love that. Goblins, give me money. All right, we got nine gold out. That's not bad. I need getting the goblins out there to be cheaper. Let's get a destruction booster pack because why not? There we go. Rebel demon. I need you in my life just to get something that costs like a lot. I mean, the real value of you is your speed, not really your strength or hit points. You do attack fast though. I mean, that's not terrible. Transform a random corpse into goblin looter. Stop having to buy goblin looters. I'm going to take that, actually. I need that. Stop spending so much just to get a goblin looter on the screen. Buy a heroic soul over here. See what we get. Get another rebel demon over here, because it's also a warrior class, so, you know, good things to buff each other, right? A little bit of synergy, but don't focus on it too much. Round seven. I'm going to draw a card first here. Beauty pageant is not what I wanted to draw. Dead elements will get out there. Draw a card real quick. I want some decent backup. Stop drawing the miracles early. Get the blacksmith out there, because I need DPS to help my elemental guy. I was hoping to draw somebody to help me fight. Summon one peasant per gold nugget on the battlefield. I don't think there are any, so we'll go ahead and do that right now. Nice and early. Got to ignore the souls going off because just can't afford to grab them. Some of the beauty pageant because got to do it eventually. Go ahead and put some burn on the battlefield hit here just because I don't want you guys getting past my guys over there and soft them up a bit. Get some more meat on the field here. The deck building hasn't gone quite the way it wanted to. Are you just going to run around back and forth? What do you do? You roam instead of moving forward. And you give them plus 10 rage and die. Gotcha. It tells it down here when I hover over them, their stats and stuff. Blood Eye Plunder, get out there. I haven't really got the sacrifice thing going yet. Feels like a later in the run kind of thing. Turns a random corpse into goblin looter and draw a card. Fantastic. Give me that gold. Lovely. How many warriors have on the screen? Can't tell. The Firestorm mostly hits to the right hand side. Let's go ahead and just do that and have it mostly hit their guys coming in. It took out one, missed that guy like crazy. You know the card here, just let them, watch those souls just run past your screen just feels bad, but I gotta try and actually win here. So you gotta balance greeting versus actually winning the round. A little back and forth. Right now I'm gonna focus on, it's round seven. We just gotta ignore souls and stuff and make sure we actually win, I think. We've got two warriors in the screen. Let's do some damage to your base. Four damage is great. The demon guy just really puts the hurt down on these guys though. Another beauty pageant, I'm gonna ignore that for now. Let me ignore the dead elemental for now as well. I feel like he's better to put out just like, ah, they're about to reach me. Quick, put him out. Let's get this guy out here. When daytime happens, if I summon a card, it'll make you a bit stronger. Go ahead and put my elemental out now. And then daytime should come pretty soon. He's going to die before daytime comes. Beauty pageant right now, because it only takes three turns. He goes down. You have nobody to 
buff. If you're not a warrior class, I guess we just draw. All right, get out there, plunderer. Every time I draw a card, get some sacrifice there. Just, they don't stay alive long enough for it to get much value out of their daytime thing. But a little bit helps, I guess. I got some warriors on the screen. Attack their village directly. I knew that card would come in handy. There we go. I need soul getting to be cheaper. Give me another heroic soul. I'll take the commons for now because that's, that's just so expensive. Five is a lot. A titan on attack. Maybe it's worth it to give them 20 rage. I've got the, the two of the deadwood elementals to lower their rage. 16 damage is insane. Does make them spawn faster, though. Maybe you use that guy as like a final push kind of thing. Like day three, you use him. Round eight. I think we made it to round nine before. They give me titan on attack at the first. I don't really want to use him right away because it improves their spawn rate. Stop having me draw miracles right away. That's awful. What an awful feeling. Lose one common soul and one gold nugget. Guess I'm just going to play that. I can't because I don't have a gold nugget. You can't play if you don't have a gold nugget. That's awful. All right, I'm going to have to put the, the titan on attack out first because I just, the game's cursed me with drawing miracles right away. I feel like the first card you draw should never be a miracle, in my opinion. Draw a card. Got a gold nugget in the field. I need a corpse to turn into uh, a goblin looter. Be nice. Fine. I'll, just, I'll summon one. I need to get a gold nugget into my hands here so I can use this and uh, throw away a gold nugget and soul to avoid taking damage to my base. If I could draw some more units, that'd be nice. Here we go. Blood Eye Plane Strider. I don't even want to play you right now. You only do one damage and you die in like a couple of hits. What do these guys hit for? Three? Yeah, three hits and you're dead. You need to have somebody in front of you to protect you and this guy's about to go down because strong as they are, they're mortal. Keep drawing cards, I guess, here. Oh, another miracle. Uh, this one again? Now I need to get, get a soul. Okay. Uh, there's a soul. All right. I need this soul. I'm having to spend my meta currency just to avoid taking damage. My dark tower is kind of awful, but we do what we must do. All right. So let's get this guy out here. A little protection over there. My goblin looter guy's about to get murdered over there. Sorry, buddy. Get some damage behind you to help fight these guys from back there a little bit. Put some burn on these guys just because there's too many guys about to take down my tree guys here. The card draw has been really awful for us. There we go. Get this guy here. Get some damage out there. They only hit for three, but they attack really fast, which actually helps out quite a lot. That's two warriors. That is four free damage to their base. I'm going to take that, actually. Do that once more and we win. Get a corpse out here to turn into my goblin guy. Put out my blacksmith over here and help a little bit as well. All right, pushing forward nicely. The, the demon warrior does. They do push nicely. The card that gives more health can do a lot of value for them, really. This fireballs. I'm not getting a lot of value from this. With the plunderer out there, why not? All right, they are pushing back. That plane strider out there. As soon as day comes here, I need day to come. Draw a card here. Yes, day's here. Now I'm going to like just draw cards because we got a lot of guys out there that buff. Got the blacksmith, got two of the plane striders. So we're going to really buff their damage really quickly. In fact, I could just win instantly. Uh oh, uh, they're enraged, but it's not going to matter because I can just go ahead and do the burning down the house and take out your village just like that. Haha, -ha, get destroyed. Four dark gems. Uh, I could get this. I'll just wait so we can get the soul harvest next time. Can't really afford anything. It wasn't the most profitable around because they literally took away two gold and two souls from that one miracle card. The miracle cards are awful. They are brutal. I get, Maybe that's the whole point of them. The solution is pick your deck carefully and pick high value cards that are very expensive that are, give good value from them. Round nine. Let's see if we can do this. But so far the Deadwood Elementals have been helping with the hero problem pretty well. This guy I'd rather not play you early if I can help it. Get out there Elemental. Hold the line. I mean this guy he only attacks for one but he has attack rate of three so he attacks fairly quickly so you can say yeah sit back and help the DPS a little bit. Every time I draw a card you get stronger here that's fantastic. Fantastic. Do I want that soul? I should grab that soul just in case I get that ugly card that makes me spend them, right? I have to have three or more minions on the board. Otherwise, I'm going to take three damage. So let's go ahead and get this guy out real quick. Hopefully, you stay alive while time runs through a little bit. And then we play this. Man, some of these miracles are just oof, nasty ones. Give me that soul, because why not? Two, two of them, I'll take it. Keep myself stocked up on souls. Is there a corpse I can even use to turn this into anything? I can't tell. There's so many guys in the way. I will take that soul, though. I feel like we're doing pretty well. I've got a nice combo of units right here, actually. Ooh, got three souls out of that one. Good value. Love that. Okay, now we're doing bad on the unit front. Every time I press this button right here, my dude does more damage per hit. You do four damage hit. If I do one more, yeah, they're about to die because they're about to be right on top. You just go ahead and ignore them and they're right on top. You can take you out. So I would like to buff them more, but there's too many guys there. Let's get you guys stacked up a little bit. Love that for us. Ignore the souls flying by. I need to get stronger here because there's a lot of stuff going on. Increase your spawn rate. Don't love that. Just ignore that for as long as I can here. You put some burn on these guys, I guess. Draw again. If I could draw an actual unit to place in the ground to fight, that'd be great. So you have to be really, really careful when building your deck, which makes sense. So it's a challenging game. That's fine. I don't. I do not want to summon like six peasants. I'll just take the three damage. Get a unit on the board there. This is tough one for us. Round nine is the one that keeps getting us. I think I have the right idea with um get high cost units. I just need to learn. I need to learn which booster packs in the shop have the high cost units that are high value. I spent two heroes one time to buy a uh, uncommon pack, and it gave me just a bunch of four cost cards. And it was just it was this one right here. I would have rather had another Titan than this. Keep summoning guys, I guess, and try and buy time to survive to the end of day three. Keep drawing 
strong cards. You guys are getting kind of nasty. Plus, put some burn on them. They'll help a little bit. They got this Valkyrie defending us. They're hurting me a lot here, though. They're enraged. That's not good for me. These cards are useless to me right now. I mean, I could draw a card for two instead of four. Could help. Another miracle. You know, I'm, 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 I'm brainstorming too much. Just accept the fact that we're about to lose. Wait, Titan, save me. Titan, save me. Titan, save me. Yes. Was my Titan dead already? They're about to be. Just save me a little bit of time. If I could stop drawing miracles, that'd be great. That'd be great if I could stop drawing miracles. Like, I like the puzzle and the challenge that trying to figure out this game presents. Thanks for watching. Now I have plenty more videos you can watch too. Like this one right here. See you next time.